So in a previous episode, we actually talked about the difference between dating versus marriage and if we noticed a difference at all. So we thought that it was only right to come and provide you guys with a video that is discussing the first year of marriage. Let's talk about it. Hey. So if you haven't seen our previous video where we talked on dating versus marriage, we highly encourage you to watch it. Some good stuff for sure. For sure. Um, but we had talked about how we didn't think that there would be much of a difference. Um, but of course, after we got married, like there was very big difference. Like with that being said, I think it's important that we highlight some of the changes that we noticed, yeah, you know, sure. walking into the first year. So what would you say was um, something that stood out to you within the first year of marriage? Man, so walking into marriage, like we said, I didn't think that there was going to be too much of a difference. Yeah. But once you're in marriage and you really feel that 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 togetherness and mm -hmm. that unity, I mm -hmm. feel like that was the most significant change yeah. that I felt because getting married, like that really just like puts everything in perspective mm -hmm. of your journey beforehand of yeah. like, man, now we are truly one and now we're married and we're we're running in this race together, together rather yeah. than it being two separate journeys. Now it's a combined journey that mm -hmm. we're just tackling everything, Yeah. whether it's finances, whether it's health, whether yeah. it's just bettering each other, bettering our love, bettering our passion, mm -hmm. our quality time, just all things mm -hmm. related to just being better people yeah. are now combined as me and you doing it together yeah. i'm helping you you're helping me mm -hmm. and we're helping each other have a more blessed beautiful marriage mm -hmm. that is now unified under god yes absolutely and it i'm so happy you said all of those points because everything that you said um truly embodies like that unity and the word that came to mind as you were talking was commitment. Mm. And it just deepens the level of commitment that you have with your partner. Because when you come before God and you commit yourself to your partner, that level of commitment is just so unmatched. It's kind of like when people say like, oh, I didn't think I could be a mom. But then once, you know, I'm right. pregnant, That's things a good like example. that. Like, it just something naturally just switched and changed right. in me. And I feel like with us that was the same with marriage you know it was just like god spoke to the both of us and spoke through us and it we got married and it really really changed mm -hmm. the way we viewed each other the way we view life mm -hmm. and added just a deeper level of commitment and so i'm glad that you you mentioned those points because when i when i think of all of those things that you you said you know it sums it all up to just that level of commitment and I really like that example that you used as far as motherhood or mm -hmm. as far as parenthood, mm -hmm. because you're so scared probably going into yeah. it like, man, like, man, with that first child, like mm -hmm. life is going to be very different. different. Yeah. And once you are there and you're actually a father or, or, or a mother, or a mother mm -hmm. and you're actually holding your child, then there's a different level of just like responsibility that yeah. you have and in a different type of. You understand that it's Life, beyond you. It's right, more right. than you. Like, and, and that's mm -hmm. kind of how I feel when it comes to our marriage. Yeah. Like, it's more than just a relationship yeah. now. It's more than we're just dating. It's it's now. It's a duty. It's, yeah. yeah you, you have a duty to, to serve mm -hmm. your partner um, and protect your partner yeah. and want to just make sure that they have the best quality of yeah. life that you can possibly give them or contribute to. Amen. Um, so. And. And mm -hmm. I would say the love for one another got even stronger mm -hmm. and it should definitely yeah. um, in marriage. But also, you know, in that first year of marriage, it's also exciting too. Yes, it's, it's very it's, exciting. It's, it's very exciting. And that's a good thing mm -hmm. for sure. But mm -hmm. it's, but, you know, we're talking about the first year and walking through that first year of marriage too. But it's also, I, I kind of want to like look 
forward a beyond, little bit yeah. beyond too because yeah of course that first year of marriage is very fun it's very exciting because it's a new stage of the relationship so of course that's new but you want to be able to continue to have that excitement and that mm-hmm. joy mm-hmm. for your partner and for your marriage five years mm-hmm. ten years in now we're coming up on about three years yeah. of marriage coming up but we have been together since 2010 mm-hmm. and I could have married this woman a long time ago, yeah. but we just decided to be patient and just run our own race and figure out when, mm-hmm. when it was best for us to take that next step. Yeah. And I'm so glad that we did take the patience to wait until 2019 when yeah. we got married. But long story short, I have never lost the excitement and the love and the joy for being a partner to you and mm-hmm. being in a union. Yeah. And that won't change. And I'm hoping that it that never changes. Yes. And the longevity that we have, I know that we can continue to have that as long as we keep that spark, as long as we keep that fun, mm-hmm. we keep the joy, we continue to have new, unique experiences, and we continue to really serve each other. Yes, yes, definitely serve, I think is the key word right there. Because, you, you know, it's all about becoming. It's all about work. You know, marriage takes constant work just like relation you know relationships and things like that and I think that sometimes people think once you're in it all right I got to the end goal I'm done Mm -hmm. but no you know if you want that longevity you want to be with your partner for a lifetime you know it takes constant work because just like things and the world changes around you so does parts of your 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 marriage and relationship and so you have to constantly nurture it you know it takes nurturing and and serving each other to um have a long lasting relationship um but kind of continuing the conversation about you know just walking through the first year of marriage and what that experience was like for us one thing that I want to talk about kind of shifting gears a little bit is something that I didn't necessarily expect but like when you change your last name especially you know for the women or you know a partner that, that decides to change their last name yeah. it's a lot of work it is I, <laughs> I didn't think it was, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. But I'm like, oh, shoot, I got to do my social security card, I got to do my driver's uh-huh. license, my job, you know, all your bank accounts, like, it can be your, stressful. your car, your title, it, it can be a little stressful, and you don't really, like, understand the, the, how tedious it is yeah. until you're in it, because yeah. you just, like, if you know people that are married, you just say, like, oh, okay, well, you changed your last name, surely it's not that difficult, uh-huh. but then once you do it, it's like... <laughs> They didn't really tell me, you know, it's it's as tedious as, yeah. as of and a I process. Think, I think we should do a, a future video mm-hmm. on just the whole process, the process and like yeah. actually diving into all the things that, yeah. are, that are necessary. But we'll save that for yeah. another video. Yeah, that'll be a good one. That will be a good one. Yeah. But speaking of that change, that is a huge change mm-hmm. and, and can be very stressful. But another change that specifically relates to our first year of marriage was... Mm-hmm. We got married in November 2019, so obviously we know what came in the next couple of months after that. Yes. And that was COVID-19 around March 2020. Yeah. All Everybody's life changed. Yeah. And people's relationships changed. Mm-hmm. And the, the first year of marriage is always going to have some challenges mm-hmm. to it just by itself. Yeah. But then you add on the, the extra layer that... Being in a pandemic. Being in just, a pandemic yeah. and being quarantined and, and definitely at the beginning where... Yeah. You don't know what this virus is. You don't know. Yeah, just navigating through something that was so scary. It was a scary time. It was a scary time. And and I'm so glad that we were able to get through it together Mm -hmm. and continue to stay healthy first and foremost. But I mean, just that first year, you know, it's it's we can always say that, you know, hey, we made it past COVID. We made can make it through it, the pandemic. We can <laughs> we can make it past anything. Yeah. And I think um, you know, it's really it, it makes me sad for relationships that didn't make it through it, mm-hmm. you know, but I do understand that everything happens for a reason. But I, I will say that even though we did have to, you know, kind of go through the height of the pandemic during the first year of our relationship, I do really think that it did bless us in many ways yeah. because, um, you know, we we're always like kind of on the go. We like to do a lot of activities. Yeah, we, we like live to in Miami. So. You know, we live in South Florida like we always want to be outside. And yeah. so. I think that it was great for us because it allowed us to slow down in many mm-hmm. ways. It allowed us Very to true. 
really focus on quality time, which is one of our love languages, by the way. So we were really able to hone in on that quality time and just discover new things about each other in a moment of just being still. Right. And I think that that's important because a lot of times we think that we have to be go, 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 go. And I think that that allowed us to like the pandemic really exposed certain parts of our relationship mm -hmm. and, you know, for the better. And, you know, sometimes not for the better, but it allowed us to work through those things to be stronger and to be better together. Yeah. So I think that it was, um, you know, as scary as the, the pandemic was at that time and, and you know still is because it's still out here let's right. keep it real but um we were able to learn a lot about each other and try and do new things together so that was that was a blessing that came out of it yeah and i think uh you know with marriage there's going to be challenging times and yeah. i think that was a great stepping stone of yeah. just knowing hey marriage is not all sweet there yeah. is going to be challenges that come along the way even mm -hmm. think that you can't control and obviously yeah. nobody can control the pandemic and what what happened mm -hmm. but you know working through that and adapting is a huge thing Ooh, in marriage yes. yeah, like adapting. Mm -hmm. uh, the adaptation that you have to have in marriage is a vital thing as you continue to progress in your life and mm -hmm. in your marriage because mm -hmm. there's going to be changes that happen in your life and in your partnership Mm -hmm. Something might happen to your partner specifically where it's like, man, things have changed now. Or, you know, like unfortunate events mm -hmm. might happen and you, you have to shift your mind. You have to shift the perspective of like mm -hmm. how you approach certain situations. And it's it's just always give and take. And it's always about adapting to certain situations so yeah. that you guys can succeed together. Mm -hmm. And I think that first year was a good stepping stone yeah. with the pandemic and with just navigating mm -hmm. love and, and yes. new marriage together yeah. is is a great thing and, and we're hoping that you know with the, these conversations that we have and, and and being able to break down that first year of mm -hmm. marriage mm -hmm. that you can have a little bit of comfort knowing that hey it's it's a process it's yes. a journey That's at the end exactly of exactly what i was gonna at say at the yep. end of at every end video of we say <laughs> enjoy the the journey enjoy the, the journey oh <laughs> I'm just saying. We just wanted to discuss very, you know, briefly what just walking through the first year of marriage was like for us. And we, like you said, just want you to know that it's a process. Now, and oh. now, quick. So before we close out on today's video, I wanted to ask you a quick question. You okay. can ask me after. Mm -hmm. But what was one thing that you learned in that first year so that we can give new mm -hmm. married couples mm -hmm. some perspective? What I've learned in the first year is that, and that's a that's a really good question because it really it's thought provoking mm -hmm. and it really forces you to kind of like look within and really think. Um, but if I had to think of something right now, I would just say that it's a process. Mm -hmm. um, and I know we touched on that already, but you know, it really is a process. Yeah. You are constantly learning, unlearning things, you yeah. know, because there's a, there, there's, you have times where people are like, well, this is just who I am. Well, yeah. sometimes you can unlearn things, yeah. you can unlearn behaviors and you can change and, and, and that's not a bad thing. And so I've learned that sometimes the way that I approach things from an individual perspective, I can't do that yeah. in a marriage. And I have to unlearn some behaviors that I have developed over the years, but I'm also learning too and learning how to serve you and how to serve our marriage. And, you know, we were lucky enough to be in a relationship for a long time that I have a little bit of experience, yeah. but when you enter into this stage of marriage, um, it is truly a process. And for you, uh, you know, I'm going to ask you the same question. What did you learn in the first year? Mm. So I think I can kind of play off of what you said because it is a process and I think that is something that I definitely learned but mm -hmm. I think I learned the most that it truly is a long game yeah marriage is a long game mm -hmm. and depending on when you get married we mm -hmm. got married when we were 29 and 28 yeah when we think about marriage you 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 don't really look that far out mm -hmm. I mean yes you 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 plan on marrying somebody but and a lot of the rest of your life but yeah yeah but you don't really realize how long that is. Mm -hmm. And if and if we're blessed enough to have another 60, 70 years on this earth, yeah. 
man, that's a long time. So like you said, it's a process Mm -hmm. and it's a journey Mm -hmm. and understanding that, you know, there's going to be seasons in life. There's always going to be Mm -hmm. things that you can learn and relearn. Like you said, Mm -hmm. I think that's the one thing that I, that I really took when it came to marriage and, and really having the confidence Mm -hmm. of this is who I'm spending the rest of my life with and I'm happy about it Yes, and continuing to be happy about it. And continuing to be happy about it. And yeah, that's what I learned. So, and I like that. And I like that we're on the same page about it. Mm -hmm. Like we both acknowledge that it is a process. And this Um, is candid too. This is candid. Like us asking these questions, Mm -hmm. we didn't pre-plan this. So like we're on the same page and hopefully we continue Continue to to be on the same page. Stay on the same page. And before we go, there's one more thing that I wanted to say. Go ahead. Question. And no, so I said that it's a process, but another thing that I learned too is selflessness. Mm. And you can't be selfish in your marriage. Nope, that's, there a, that's some a good thing, one. There are some things that you can keep towards yourself for yourself. So I, I mean, yeah, but all in all, when you think of like marriage in its entirety, you can't be selfish. Mm-hmm. You have to be, you know, when that's that's your partner, and you have to be willing to exhaust everything for your partner you know for like for their that. happiness and like so that. and or for the <laughs> happiness of your marriage yeah. and so like i said previously there were a lot of things that i had to unlearn because i had a lot of selfish behaviors mm. and you can't just think about yourself in right. the marriage you have to think about the betterment of each other and so i would say that was a, a big thing as well um just learning that marriage is about selflessness amen yeah So I think we should just wrap it up there. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping that you got good perspective for these new people that for these new couples out here that are about to get married or Mm -hmm. thinking about marriage or even engaged couples. We just want to have these conversations that we continue to have these conversations one week at a time where we're just having good conversation around love, building relationships and building a good, long lasting, fulfilled life with your partner. Yes. So my name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And we are the Yambors. Bye, everyone. Enjoy the journey.